Oh, you already know. <laughs> you know he did. You yeah, know, yeah. Punk always got to be ready, man. Got to celebrate, man. Got to celebrate. Well, that's yes. dope, man. Thank God for the weed, man, that delivers. Cause, uh, Ooh, we. It is. Hey, man, I'm I'm actually pretty blessed to 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 be homies with the weed man. Like nice. Like we homies, you know. That's my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't it ain't like we just kick it just for the weed. That's just he's just he just so happened to be the weed guy. You know what, right. what I'm saying? Right. Bro, I missed that. I had that in Sacramento, man. Ain't nothing like living next to your weed, man. Oh. Like yo, <laughs> what you doing? I'm finna slide to the crib. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's like morning time. Yo, yeah. You, you you want some frosted flakes? I'm rolling yeah. the blunt. Right. Ooh. Hey, bro. He has a whole pound that he has to divide it all out, but he's really just like. Yeah, you want to smoke some shit? <laughs> we like, oh, bro, don't you gotta, don't you gotta make some money? He's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be all right. Smoke it, smoke it. <laughs> sure, all right. Okay. Do, do you do you then? All right. right. Okay, okay. You don't owe big worm, do you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then what's funny right. is like your weed man will always go like, "Hey, yo, bro, I got some fire shit you gotta try." Come, right. come through, slide through, bro. I'm finna roll this shit up. We no, because they really, they really, yo, I didn't even, I didn't re- realize how serious it was till when we were smoking. He was like, all right, how is it? How's it hidden? How's it? And I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm thinking he's really like just asking as a, no, he's asking as a business, like, yo, what, is it, is it getting you a high high? Are you getting sleepy? Are you this? And I'm like, oh, Does shit. Work? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. It really was. Like, you thought they would just be nice, but it's like, nah, it's like, I need to know. If I'm gonna keep buying this stuff, and it's like I'm finna try it with you, yeah. Home, and I'm like, you damn right, you better use me as a guinea pig, and I ain't gonna complain. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't gonna, gonna complain. Like, how dare you give me something great to smoke? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> what am I, a piece of meat? <laughs> you ain't shit. You <laughs> ain't you. shit. You yeah, one. man. Yeah, man. That's hey, dope, man. bro. Weed dealers are so important nowadays, man. Yeah. <laughs> All these taxes going on, man. Oh, bro. They're essential, man. They're essential. They are. They are. I'm glad they dubbed them essential. Um, you know what I'm saying? They're essential <laughs> workers. Yeah. There's also, there's a, uh, I'm over here in downtown um, by uh, the All Deaf office. Of my, I live literally like the next block over. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I, live, I live right in front of the convention center, right here. Bro, Y'all like on, around the corner from each other. I live on Eighth and Main by Nice Kicks. Oh, bro, yeah, I'm I'm right here. I'm hey, on Figueroa. I thought you was in like the Valley and stuff. No, 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 no. I, I used to be I used to be far as hell. I used to be in Monrovia, like right there. That, I mean, that's over there by Pasadena, Arcadia, oh, and stuff. But now I'm here, man. I'm I'm right on Figueroa and and uh, in Venice. Oh, okay, yeah, man. Shit, I yeah. can connect up with you there, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm here, bro. Um, but yeah. Uh, fuck. Why did I bring? Why did I bring that up? Oh, because there's a there's a um um, uh, Litco is right is right behind me. Litco. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 I know exactly. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. exactly. Where you are. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but are you excited about opening up Friday? Because uh, we know we know Texas is open back up. Fam, <laughs> yeah, man. The, hey, hey, how is it out there in Houston, bro? Are you did you are you going out there? Man, I've been going to work. Dude. The mall is open, bro. <laughs> <laughs> People out, man. They had a beach really? party like this weekend. And idiots out there <laughs> everywhere. Hey, hey, so are you? Are you? Like, you you're probably like me, bro. Like I, I'm. I'm just gonna let the first wave go. Like y'all, y'all go ahead, y'all go ahead and knock that out. You know what I'm saying? Oh, people, wrote, people been out though. I wrote right. that on my page. I'm finna treat life like the new iPhone. I'm Bam. Wait six months till they yeah. work out all the bugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, work it all out. Come with. Wait till they come out with the S. You know yep. they, they, you know they come out with the S. You know the, <laughs> you the, the life, life go upgrade to that new X for twelve. Yeah. Just don't worry yeah. about it. Yeah, if <laughs> for real, it'd be the like iPhone ten, and then and then it, all the fuck us, and it'd be the iPhone ten S, which is yeah. for sorry, <laughs> sorry for the last one. <laughs> yep. Sorry about it's, sorry for the bugs. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what it was. That is exactly what it was. <laughs> right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I, but I know. But I noticed though. Like, um, I mentioned this in like the previous episode too. Is that, um, I don't go a lot of places. Like, my schedule is pretty like the same spots. So I was like, my biggest thing that I'm only concerned about opening up is filming. You know, when we mm. go back to filming, mm-hmm. studios and booking stuff. But it's like, mm-hmm. yo, like outside of that, 
man, I don't really be out like that. Yeah, right. yeah. Hey, and that's the beauty of being a graphic designer. <laughs> right. right, exactly. It's Just a kicking it at the crib, you know what I mean? Yes, man. But, kicking um, it. We kicking it at the crib, man. Kicking it at the crib, just chilling. Winnie the yeah. Pooh style. Matter of fact, we uh gonna go ahead and get this underway. Uh, I think we had a great segment with the beginning of the weed, so I'm gonna split that. But uh, okay, y'all, welcome <laughs> to the Will Farrow Show. Hey man, you are Will fucking Farrow. brilliant. Ooh, ooh, I thought the record button happened, and I was like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but we still gonna keep it going. Now you're like, I got a great segment. <laughs> yes, this is what's gonna happen now. This is what's gonna I love happen. it. I love it. Okay, cool. All right, let's not. My bad, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. It's all good, bro, because I'm just glad to have y'all here, man. Right now, I got my uh, my homie, talented comedian, actor, designer, graphic designer, video producer, video editor. Just I'm full renaissance man in general. H-Town native, Chris Sosa with me. Thank you, man. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think I got one of those on this thing. You got one. Nigga, just let him. You got it. No, 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 <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Introduce, introduce Trevor. I got him. I got him. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> all right. Same thing. Renaissance man, video, graphic designer, brand designer, specialist, uh, consulting specialist, activist, H Town, staple in the community, just all around good guy. And also, my Jedi master. Trevor Piper, T Piper Media is in the guys there, but sure guy. Oh man. We are also supposed to have another guest in, uh, uh Tish Thomas. She's gonna be in a little bit later. Um apparently Zoom and her got beef. So oh, uh, Lord. <laughs> We just uh, gonna kick it off with the three of us. Uh, so I wanted to bring y'all in because as Renaissance men in this industry that we're in, this entertainment industry, um, I feel like we are the last of a dying breed, but something that's also building towards a new one. So I really just wanted to kind of give us a platform to be able to speak. Cause I hear so many people in this industry from the side of producers and the, the, the ups and downs of being a producer, the ups and downs of being an actor, the ups and downs of being a CEO, the ups and downs of all of these things and all of these people have these platforms, but you never get to hear from the people that make all your shit look amazing. Fam. Right? One of facts, bro. We are the key to the city. Like, you don't get a check, Philly, without us. Bro, people don't realize how important and how, like, it, it's really just, like, overlooked. And, 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 cause imagine, imagine, uh, um, you know, get on ESPN. You know what I mean, and the and the whole ESPN logo comes on, or or you're putting on your your, your favorite gear. You know, Nike, the Nike swoosh. You know what I'm saying, like, bro, all, all these all these things, man. You know, we we are. I know we all we all know the famous story of the Nike swoosh. Oh yeah, the thing got sold for thirty five dollars. Yeah, man, from a teacher. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Teacher. <laughs> And ladies and gentlemen, we got uh, Tish Thomas in the building. What's going on? <laughs> she gets one too. She gets the horns too. Yes. What's oh, going man. on, Tish? It's hot as shit. In LA. Wipe your screen. It look hot. Your screen look hot. Wipe it. I like it. Warmth. Just warmth. Your screen looks hot. Yeah, your screen look like it's hot. Is that better? No, yeah, but yeah. We're going we to make it work. No, it's cool. It's cool. You're good. It's cool. This is Zoom. They, <laughs> they know what this is. This is Zoom. But, uh, we I want that spiral staircase right there. That's pretty right? tough. Look, man, right? let, me te- let me tell y'all something, man. Tish is one of, another one of those folks that are like us. And again, when the, when we do our The Roses segment, you're going to see why. Tish is a true, I, I don't even want to say rag to riches because I feel like it's still an insult. But this woman is someone really like, if I had to compare it, it's up there to a Russell story to go where she was and to what she's doing now and doing it mostly by herself and breaking all kinds of stereotypes. But we gonna get into that. Nice, um, nice. But uh, Tish, I already introduced like the platform we setting for. Most of us don't really get a platform as Renaissance 
people in this industry. We don't really get a platform to talk about the ups and downs, the trials and tribulations, and really just get to call out the bullshit that we have to deal with as really the keys to the city. That's what I'm calling us. We the keys to the fucking city. It's yes, true. Sir. I want to give us a platform to discuss that. So. Okay, I'm with it. Hey, and I appreciate you, man. I appreciate the platform that you're giving us, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shedding some light on us, uh, right. uh, graphic designers. Yes, indeed. So, like, most of us, uh, of course, are freelance, but I want to go around and just uh, figure out how long have all of you been a, a freelance, gra- uh, like, designer? I don't even want to call it graphic designer because we're going to get to that conversation. Mm. <laughs> uh, um, let's see. Uh, <clears throat> how long? Have I, I mean, I've been out here. I've been out here seven years, and then I was doing it before I moved out here for like a, a good man. I, I think I'm going on like a ten year mark. I think I'm going on a ten year mark with with uh like designing. You know, making money. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trevor, what about you? I'm gonna say it's been at least twenty. Nice. Like coming out of, coming out of college and then jumping right into like the club scene, doing graphics before it was a big thing, you know, there wasn't the Instagram at the time. So it's been a minute. Yeah. Nice. All right, uh, Tish, do you want to give out that? You know, I, I know- mean, honest gonna... with you, I've had a degree in visual communications. I got my degree in 2003, but I thought it was useless until I got uh-huh. laid off. And I was like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I got some skills. So yeah. I've had a degree since 2003. I did not put it into use until 2016. Wow. wow. Dang, bro. you are putting it to use very well, though. So, right. See, the reason why I put it to use very well now is because as a graphic designer, you have the ability to recreate what you see. Nobody tells you what that the limits are limit to be limitless with that gift. Yeah, right. absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I agree, too. Um, I'm trying to think how long I've been. Trevor, when did I meet you? What year did I meet you and start working at Apple? Was that uh, 13? I think 13, okay, 13. So I've been doing freelance graphics since 13, uh, to, uh, 2013. So, mm. uh, and my my first job was actually really given to me by by Jedi Master when we were both uh, curating the Space City Beat Battle in Houston, Texas. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, hey. First, first jobs I ever had working with like the Stormtrooper with the beatbox. Uh, I was drawing that in Illustrator for, you know, just making all kind of, Star Wars themed uh, battles for uh, for beats and stuff like that. So mm. that was where I first started doing stuff. So I know uh, most people will give like the particulars about like y'all started doing CDs and flyers, but I want to know if y'all can track back. Ooh. What was your first <clears throat> freelance project to get and got paid? What I got was it? it? I got it. Let, uh, I'm, I'm, uh, let, uh, yeah, Tish, your name Tish? Yeah. T- Tish, go ahead, go first. Go first. I got. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna bring something. I'm gonna bring something. Go ahead. <laughs> t-shirt, t-shirt design was my first uh, pay gig, and then for about three years, I was known for doing flyers, and I didn't like that because that wasn't my capability. So I pulled right. back completely from doing flyers into doing, and then transitioned to branding. Okay. So your first. So your first ones were t-shirts. T-shirt design. Dang it. So that's I, and that's the thing. I, I don't think I, besides maybe outside of you, uh, Trevor, I don't know if I met anybody that like they first start off with this t-shirt. Because t-shirt design is major. Like that's a, I don't think a lot of people yeah. know how much goes into that. That was in 2003 though. That was when I had first got my gig. It was like, oh, I need graphics for a t-shirt. And that's what they wanted for apparel. But it's not like apparel is now. No. Nah. That time wasn't that strong. It was literally to go inside of the store. The pro, the oh wow! Design programming wasn't that strong. Like, yo, I paid fifty dollars. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, Trevor, what about you? First job, uh, first gig, I'd say. Um, there was a, a group of two of my homies. Uh, they had a company called IT Media, so they were doing all like the grown and sexy parties and all of this. And I had just graduated from Prairie View. And, uh, you know, I was just kind of like back in Houston on my own. So I was like, let me figure this out. And my homie was like, look, do this, do that. And, you know, he put me into the party scene. Yeah. So I started doing club flyers first. <clears throat> and then it was running after that. You know, it was like, that was kind of like the peak of club graphics here, if you will, before, you know, people were doing it, but it wasn't like 
it was then. You know, we had the grown and sexy flyer thing moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, especially like out there, I, like, you know, uh, the three of us outside of Tish is accustomed to the Houston club scene, which is, I, I ain't gonna be, I'm gonna be honest, it's very underrated. We don't get enough shine. Super, super major. <laughs> yeah, it is quite major. People go to Houston to party. Yeah, but we yeah. need we need more of this. I don't, I don't like that folks that we get like they just be like, oh Houston, we just going to Houston, and they be like, oh food. I'm like, fuck you. I call the dope. <laughs> hey man, we were ranked coolest city uh, in the uh, in America for like uh, four years straight. And people be trying to deny that shit. I'm like, y'all gonna stop not letting us be free. Google it. Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's paperwork. He right? say Google it. Yeah, Google Chris, it. What's your, Chris, what's your story? Hey, man. Oh man, I I, I I I don't know where it's at. I misplaced it, but I have it framed of uh, my first uh, uh, graphic design. It was a uh, clothing line that my uh, me and my buddy uh, came up with, and. Um, it was it it was on this oh man I pretty forget the the software that it was it wasn't Adobe <laughs> Illustrator it was some bootleg you know free download trial whatever it was that, that's when I first learned about the nodes and like you know Anchor and like with yeah. all of the things man it, this design took me like five days of just staring at the computer trying to figure it out you know what I mean <laughs> which now I could knock out this that that design that I did I could knock that out in like you know 30 minutes you know what I mean out uh well that's a whole other story too with which time and, and graphic design and stuff but yeah. but man uh, uh the, the, it came from a clothing line man My, uh, it was called ethnic male genius and it was EMG that was it was <laughs> okay. you say what I was gonna say that, that was the whole name that was way too long Hey, right. it was it was E M it was E M and an apostrophe G, so it was pronounced M G. You know what I'm saying? Wow. M G. Yeah, 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 yeah. It That's was from, I was going for. Okay. Yeah, like my boy, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was my boy's uh, initials. His uh, his initials is M G, but we made it E M apostrophe G. Ethnic male genius. I don't know. We but but yo, that's a it's vintage, man. It's vintage. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm telling you, when I when I pop off, it's gonna nice. be a vintage uh, uh vintage little drop. Right? You know what I mean? Yeah, I yeah. It, right? I feel it. We charge. We do the little upcharge and stuff. Like, <laughs> got it. Yeah, as long as it costs over a hundred dollars, you should be good. Right. Oh, and we gonna and we gonna get into that as far as pricing go too. So yeah. I think, um. It's funny that it, it, it's two people came from and starting as first gigs as events. And it's funny because I know Chris, you may have not uh, got a chance to hear, but Tish also started in doing shirts and apparel as well. That was I caught I caught that little that little bit, man. Uh, I'm I'm so sorry that I, I missed that. I was trying to no, find no, no, because you were trying to go get a piece to be able to show. Yeah, so, I want to show y'all that, but yeah, uh, fine, yeah. So okay, so, cool, cool, cool. I think one of the things about uh, being a designer that most folks don't understand is the importance of if you had to compare it to anyone we are almost in the same pace as fashion mm. a lot of people don't understand it like fashion always has to be six months to a year ahead of what the new thing is mm -hmm. as a designer you do too because things change right. all the time consistently for us like people now like i remember back like in 2013 to like maybe 20 15, everything had to be modern. It had to be simplistic, a circle up here, a square right here, and then just put my name real small. Yeah, like so many oh, yeah that's hard. <laughs> lots, of, <laughs> lots of negative space. Lots of negative <laughs> space going on. And I just want this to be for my uh, live when I go to Starbucks. It's like, oh, okay, I don't know what the fuck you're trying to do, but fine. Yeah. Right, right, so, right. What I want to know from y'all is freelance graphic, uh, freelance graphic designers. And having to move and consistently change. Give me some of the ups about being a freelance designer that most folks may not get a chance to see or may have a perception that's wrong about it. And also some of the downsides of being a freelance graphic designer. And um, I'll start with you, Trevor, because I know we started with Chris and uh, Tish already. Upside is you get to make your own schedule. Like... Um, you know, you, we deal in a world that's kind of special, but to like your regular friends and family or homies, they got to work. They don't necessarily get that. And it's like, hey, man, what you doing? Such and such. Like, I'm chilling, man. I'm on my own schedule. Like, I'm, <laughs> what you want to do? And then once I understood, uh, like, I got my got my first laptop, I was like, yo, I could do this anywhere in the world. So I was like, gone. People are like, oh, you balling? I'm like, sure, whatever you think. <laughs> 
but you know, just that freedom to move around and, and be creative and connect and that was the that's the the utmost right there. Okay. And we'll stick with the utmost right now and then kinda of get into the uh the negatives about it. Uh so Tish, what about you? Um, well I mean the schedule is always a bonus, but I do brand management. So if I can't do if I can't do the whole project, I won't take the project on. I'm not at the I'm not at a liberty to just like you can't call me and be like, yo, I just need a flyer, I just need this or I just need that. It's like here's right. this package because you don't know what you need. And you, Man. Don't need a, you don't just need Ooh. a flyer. You don't just need a website. Air horn. Across the board. Across the board. Ooh. And the liberty to work with who you want to and, and not work with and not work with who you don't. Like okay. that's lit. Yeah. And we're gonna and, and we also gonna dive into that a little bit today too. Uh, so, uh, so, so what about you as far as like some of the upsides of being a free man? Um, you know, just to bounce off of, uh, um, uh, Trevor and Tish, uh, the, the time, the time definitely is, uh, uh an upside, like, uh, you, you can create your own schedule. And, um, but I, I, I was thinking of like, I really loved the, I, re I still do. I still get the, the same high off of it, of just seeing other people with my design, you know? Like people wearing the design that I did. Like I remember the first time that I designed for uh, my high school, and I designed I designed the uh, the, the seniors uh, uh, graduate or like you know seniors shirt or something like that. And mm -hmm. uh, I went to school when uh, and and people were rocking the shirts, and I'm like, yo, I did that, you know. And I still I I just posted one today of um, of Mike Epps. He, yeah. he did a, he did a show on a Complex with his shoes and stuff. And he was rocking the crew neck that uh, it was just a one off, you know, design that I did for him to spare the moment. And um, he was rocking it. And I was like, Yo, you, name nice. dropper. you name dropper. Uh, <laughs> let, name drop it. Because, Tish, you're going to be name dropping later today, too. We all name dropping today. So get it ready. <laughs> It just it just so happened to be part of the <laughs> the high that I get, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. and I and I think I, uh, for myself too, I can piggyback off of all everything that all the three of y'all have said. Um, but and I think my biggest thing too is like what Sosa said, and it goes back to my first gig with uh, Trevor was having the freedom to be able to continue to grow after seeing how people respond to your stuff. So when it was like one of my biggest challenges I had had was. I'm going to learn how to do Illustrator and learn how to draw in Illustrator because that's what he had challenged me to do. Literally, I remember going to uh, Trevor's house and he was like, yo, could you be able to do this in Illustrator? Like, I watched my homeboy do it in Illustrator, but like, and, and it was just, it looked so perfect. It was like the designs you normally see that go on shirts or anything else. It had like a different shading, the highlights and everything. I was like, yo, this is amazing in Illustrator knew nothing about Illustrator. I was, at, at that <laughs> point in time, I was like, yo, Illustrator can kiss the lower end of my left testicle. <laughs> to Illustrator. <laughs> and I was challenged to do it. And the first thing and the first thing I had drew for a client was of course him. It was the um I don't know if y'all are familiar with the um Adidas Stormtrooper that normally walks around with the boom box. He got the gold rope chain. And, uh he's in a red stormtrooper outfit. Okay. I got. I, I have it. I have. It, I haven't. Uh, I'm. I'm not familiar with that one. His name is a hip hip hop trooper on Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Hip hop trooper. Yeah. So uh, I had drew him for one of the flyers, and I was like, "Yo, I'm gonna figure out how to get this situated, get it right." Got it down to the T, and I was just. I felt so accomplished about it because he had added it to the flyer, and it just brought all of it together. So when I saw people, just like how you said, so, so they was like. Yo, this is dope. This is fly, man. I can't wait to come to this event. And it's like, yo, my design is helping pull these people in. And then it gave me the urge to go, how can I keep getting better? I got now I want to keep learning illustrator. I want to see how I can keep progressing. And I feel like being in kind of like a closed state of just working at a job, you don't really get to have those kind of options to find out something new you want to do. This stormtrooper is super ghetto fabulous. Oh yeah, he is. He, <laughs> he travels all over the world, though. <laughs> Let me see. Just for just yeah, but from but from that though, Will, like you did, um, we did our first international beat battle, and uh, it was Texas versus Toronto, and I had Will do the he did the flyer, but he also did the shirts that we were all wearing. 
mm. uh, in Austin for South by Southwest. So it was it was a major deal. Nice, yeah. nice. It's always it's always one of the major accomplishments when you get to do stuff like that. So that's why now it comes back to the name dropping. Um, oh, we're, gonna stick, we're gonna stick to the highlights of being a freelance graphic designer. I'm not gonna ask you the biggest, but I'm gonna ask you your favorite biggest client that you've worked with. Mm-hmm. I think Tish should go first. Yeah, Tish should definitely go first. <laughs> yeah, come on, Tish. Come you on, know, Tish. You know, I'm team Tiffany Haddish all day, baby. Tiffany is like the dopest, <laughs> the dopest person inside and out. Like, that is somebody who has allowed me to she never lets me hit my ceiling. She allows me to grow within her business, within her businesses. She That's allows good. me to have a voice. Like when I show up to meetings at UTA, we're not doing that. I show up in Air Max and sweat. Like that's not what we're doing. I'm not finna go impress nobody. And she applies that. So it's like, hey. like I get to be who I am no matter where I'm at. And plus I get to last, last year, one of the highlights of my life was smoking weed with Snoop. That was because wow. of Tiffany. <laughs> and then I got to go to the um, the Dave Chappelle war ceremony, the Mark Twain. So nice. Hold I, on. I, I, I was rocking with DJ Nice. Job, <laughs> yeah, I was rocking Nice, Chance the Rapper, Dave Chappelle, q Like, it was so <laughs> lit last year. I thought, I was like, ooh, 2020's going to be lit. And now we're at home like this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. But yeah. just let me, put, let me put the stamp on this for you, Trevor Sosa, and all the listeners out there. Let me tell you how much though dedication and believing in yourself got her that. No one put her in front of Tiffany like that. Like somebody helped her put her in I front of Tiffany. Tiffany a link. They didn't but, like and, and that was really it. And what she means by link, Tish looked at her website and was like, I don't like how this looks. This isn't Tiffany. <laughs> no, that's not true. I I believe that Tiffany deserved a better website than what she had. We're saying the same thing. You just said it like a politician. I just don't want to see if she sees this. I don't want her to be like, "Oh, you were talking shit." Like, no. right, you right. Know, she she knows. Look, listen. I am as most of y'all. You saw the vision. You right. saw the vision. Bad designs make my balls itch. Like, I if I see it, I can't help but just like I can't I can't be sugar coated with. It. I'm like, yo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah. And this is what you got to improve. But she took her time out of her schedule. No one asked her to do this. She created her a whole website on Wix with all of the trimming, all the fixes, with everything she has currently going on and what she had coming up. Took that link, sent it to a friend of hers that is on the same uh, comedy uh, lineup with her and said, yo, can you just show her this? Oh, wow. She saw it, her people saw it, and now you have her going to all of these events. That I is- didn't miss that, that as that. I am chief strategy officer for her nonprofit as well. So I have, not only did that gave me segue me into different positions it segues me into growth like if i got yep. fired today god forbid she's like yeah we don't need you no more but i have really learned so much with three even through photography like when i'm on set and they got time like when they have downtime i'll be over there talking to the people who shoot the covers and mm-hmm. seeing what kind of equipment they got and how they use it and they don't never i have yet for somebody to be like hey lady could you get out my face they take time and <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah they, they teach me how to do everything that they do. Because like, he's getting twenty thousand dollars a cover. Right. And it's that's so dope because people like people like them and, and like us, we, we don't we don't that's why I, I appreciate you, Will, but no but they don't really be talking to us. So when somebody asks about it, we like, oh yeah, and boom, we just start, you know, sharing everything of what it was because we're you're usually behind the scenes and we don't really, you know, get that credit. You know, it's really just on us to just like pride ourselves and, and look in the mirror and say, You matter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you 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 matter to someone. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna be great today. Yeah, not really, but you just to everyone you're gonna have done something. Yeah, just man. Keep going. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, but it, but but just like both of you said, like most people don't really understand, and I think it's because they don't understand what this position is that we have given ourselves to be in. And so they really don't know how to approach it, how to come at it, which leads to 
these downsides that we about to get in. We about to get hey, I want to hear some name drops from Trevor, man. Right right after the name drops, of course. I just want to <laughs> let y'all know what the next one was. So yeah, I want to hear Trevor's name drops. No, no. So Trevor, <laughs> name dropping time, man. Okay. Well, getting started early, like, jumping around. But, like, my first big thing was when I did my first billboard in Atlanta. I was in Houston. And then to see it was just, like, mind-blowing. Uh, my first kind of recurring gig, aside from the clubs. Because, you know, a lot of different celebrities come in there. So, doing flyers with anybody you can think of that was popular. Um, dang, I can't. I did a whole Talib Kweli, um, like, marketing package. Currently, I do. I, I've been doing a Bum B's of UGK doing his uh, album cover promo. Oh, nice. um, I had done like a. He took the same branding design and he did like put it in the video, and he shot at all of the Houston stadiums. So that was hey. that was super dope. Yeah. And then like for our beat battle, I have all the major like platinum producers and whatnot fly in, and they would judge. So all of that artwork, it was just it's been a lot. <laughs> oh wow is the beat is the beat uh battle still going no we ran it for five years super heavy but uh we're about to bring back a new brand called pure beats okay uh, pretty soon yeah because i got i got somebody i want to send to you man I got just, yes, uh, sir. No, that sounds tight bro that sounds yeah. tight oh yeah and then also too just to uh also put into there that that spot that he did with bum b actually was also in new york featured in times square so his wow. designs for Bumby's album was actually plastered on time in Times Square. Man, so, that's oh man, it's, it's that's such a dope feeling, man. Uh, I did the logo. Sorry, I did the logo for the Shoe Foundation, and that shit airs on ABC all the time. Like you can see a logo I did. Yeah. Wow, everywhere. that's so cool, man. Yeah. That's so yeah, I'm always I'm always bragging on it. <laughs> Yo, your your work with Tiff. <laughs> oh man, I. I'm like, yeah, that's my homie right there. Like, she did that one. <laughs> so, so, so uh, what, what's what's the what's it called again? She Ready Foundation. Oh, She Ready Foundation. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's yeah, oh yeah. Nice, nice. So, 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 it's name dropping time, man. What we doing? All right. So, uh, <clears throat> my first my first big uh, 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 graphic design job was with uh, Kevin Hart, and nice. uh, I was 17, man. And he came. He came out to Houston. He performed at the Improv over there at the uh, well, the only mm-hmm. Houston Improv um, at the Marquee. And uh, yeah, snuck in. And you know, I, we watched the whole shows. I was with the girl, uh, dating this girl at the time, and we we had snuck in, whatever. And uh, when after the show, he stayed right there. And uh, like you know, by the stage, I walked through everybody, introduced myself, <laughs> and just told him like, "Hey, man, I do this, this, and that. I, I plan on being an entertainer. It's a whole thing." And he listened and he gave me a, a card uh, to like, you know, his, his production company, whatever. I emailed them that night, man, like a 10 page email. It was a novel. You know what I mean? <laughs> the only thing they grabbed from that email was that I, I did graphic design and they hit me up straight up. was like, yo, come up with some, uh, some merch designs for, for the tour. And nice. uh, yeah, man. And, and so we, I ended up coming up with some, with some, uh, with some merch for him and, um, they bought, man, they bought like two of them and it, it was so dope to get an invoice or like a receipt that said, you know, Kevin Hart Productions. And I was so hyped. Like, I was like, yo, I just got paid. Like, yo, Kevin Hart, it was a whole, it was a whole thing. And, um, and that, and that was able, I was able to like, you know, use that in my portfolio and send that off and like, you know, get other big jobs and, and work with other people. Um, I, I think, I think my, uh, my favorite is still, I mean, still to this day, man, is, uh, is my guy, Mike Gaps, man. He, he's oh, yeah. really, nice. and, and I'm, and I'm sure it's like, uh, it's like you Tish, uh, uh, with, uh, Tiffany. It's just, it's always vibes. You know what I mean? He invites me over to the crib. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's probably just a stand up, a comedy thing. You know what I mean? And, and especially <laughs> because I'm a stand up comic. So it's even better to like, be around that and you know he, he's brought me on the road with him you know and and he's uh, like he, he brought me like to like four or five cities with him man and i was able to like see firsthand like that you know uh, uh experience it how it how it is you know jumping on planes and you know uh, uh sneaking through the back you know, the comedy clubs and you know what i mean when they open the back there's door i'm sorry to interrupt you no 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 you're good you're good took me to a place 
there are doors that people will never open because they only open for millionaires. Yeah. Like, there's entrances that only open for millionaires. You get to go through the back. It's five star quality. You get snuck Man. in. You get snuck out. You're going exactly through. You're going through the kitchen. You're going through. You're walking through all these different places where you're yeah. like, "This is how they do it." Because yep. you know, as a as an audience member, you're kind of looking like, "Are they going?" And you, they just come onto the stage. You're like, "How the hell?" You got here, man. They they come through. They have all different types of interests, like like thriller. Right. <laughs> like, they just pop out of nowhere. Pop out like could be a, a, an entire other topic. Also, like the 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 weight of a designer that people miss. Cause it's like, just like that, I've gotten so much access just from designing, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. no, we gonna, yeah. we, gonna, we gonna talk about that too. Yeah. <laughs> Short term. Yeah, um, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, I was really trying to think, and then I just be forgetting and then remembering just like folks that I've worked with. Like he said, uh, me and Trevor were working with the uh, beat battle. So we've done stuff for like Boy Wonder, uh, uh, Ski Beats as well. Like he was a heavy producer on Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt album. Um, I forgot I did stuff with uh, Trader Truth. Uh, yep. Hey. Uh, Trader Truth and Young Thug. I did their uh, single, Try Me. I made their cover for them. What was funny was uh, same thing, kind of similar to Tish's stuff, which is something I think we're all like accustomed to doing as freelancers. We saw, uh, I did his Trade Day flyer, but I was not the official Trade Day flyer. Mm-hmm. I saw the official where I was like, this fucking sucks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> And so again, Trevor had encouraged me, like, well, make another one. Yeah. So I made one, and what was so funny about it was um, a radio show in Houston, of course, Trevor and Chris, y'all know it, 97 down the box. Yeah. Saw it and started using that flyer as the <laughs> official play day. <paper. laughs> yeah. And then Trey saw it. And was, yeah, and yeah. was like, yeah. I'm going to use this flyer. And then yeah. me, I saw it and was like, we're going to use this flyer. Yes, sir. For Trey day. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And then, and, and, you know, with humbling moments, I've been on the other side of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I and choose something else and it's way better than mine. And I'm and like, you just got to kind of eat that. You just be like, oh, hey, all right, <laughs> that, you got that, that. that can lead to the dark side that right there. Happened. You can go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then just two more, of course. Uh, I work for uh, Pimp C's uh, foundation as well and making and designing their merch and stuff like that. At, Hell um, yeah, Snoop Dogg. I think Snoop Dogg was fun to work with. I worked with some of his. Uh, I know develop- he's fun to work with. Oh yeah, so <laughs> I, I worked with some of his like developing artists and covers for them and stuff like that. So that was some of my fun ones. But yeah, so Man, I forgot co- comedy wise. I forgot I did a lot of stuff with J. Anthony Brown. Yeah, and then it got and then it got weird. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, we just we we slide into the negatives now. What right, you right. Have you been to the J spot? I haven't been there, but for like a year, I was designing all the flyers for it. Really, it a long, long time yeah, ago. Yeah, when you go to the J spot, he makes you watch a J. Anthony Brown comedy commercial info. I don't even know what to call them. He before makes every show, like every show, he makes you yep. watch it for ten to fifteen minutes. Yep. Then the comedians go on stage, and I'm just like, I mean, I get that it's your club, but my nigga, like. <laughs> <laughs> Look, y'all just sometimes y'all just gotta go in there and then when he play it, just start saying it word for word out loud. Like every night y'all up there, just start going word for word. It's cringe worthy though. I know, but if you start wow. saying it out loud in a nasally voice, hi, welcome to the J Spot. This is the Anthony Brown. I'm so happy to have y'all here. Like you just start You're doing stupid. that every night. Hey, that was Will Ferrell, not me, J. Anthony. <laughs> no, wait. Still trying to get stage time? Hey, that was all Will Ferrell. <laughs> I'm not knocking him because he's a black man that owns a comedy club in Los Angeles that's still running to this day. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's an that's awesome cool. thing. My thing is, like, I'm sure for every one of us, it's the evolution of you. So once you get to a place to where you shouldn't even have to do that, like you shouldn't force yourself on, on people, you're just here to get a bag. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah, again, y'all all giving these examples that's about to lead into this. Oh yeah, I'm ready. It's we so all ready. ready. We're locked and loaded for that. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy though? Isn't that crazy how we just like, we have like a couple nice and, oh yeah, this is great, it's cool, designing is beautiful. And then the negative side. 
Like, I'm ready. <laughs> this, this is what I came on here for. I was like, I knew he was gonna get this. Hold on. <laughs> and listen, this is now. This is now just for all the sponsors. This is a smoke session now. So if you feel the need to talk, go ahead and talk. Because hey, right. this is this is this finna get real. Yeah, this yeah, yeah, finna yeah. Air it out. This is. Oh man. This is the gripes we have. As designers, yes, so now, many. Man. I'm gonna so start many. it off. Go ahead. One of my absolute cringe worthy lines <sighs> Can I get a cover for $25? Oh, they when they give you the price, when they give you the price. Oh, my oh, goodness. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, let's Bruh. talk about it. Let's Bruh. talk about it. Oh. Please let me know, like, what was the most insulting price you've ever been given for, like, well, free, like free. <laughs> free. <laughs> free. No, 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 no. We know, we understand free. Because some, okay. some people you do something free for. But, like, I'll give you an example. Gary Vee. Fish does brand. Hey. hey shout out I designed that shirt for Kev. He did. He <laughs> did. You know what's crazy is that when they first went on tour, I designed all the flyers and graphics for the Real Comedians social media tour, and that was seen everywhere. Nice. Actually, uh, I, I gotta I gotta correct myself. I don't think I did that shirt, but I have done Kev's uh, Kev's merch, a lot of his merch. But uh, I I, I want to make sure because if, if this gets posted, Kev gonna be like, "Yeah, dude, that one." All right, I gotta <laughs> correct myself. I gotta correct myself. I mean, we're just informing people that Chris Sosa was a definitely a graphic design, a heavy design on Kev on stage's merch. And yes, yeah, man. Did. Yeah, and man. also produce and produce him out and ship. You know yeah. the one thing I love about Kev on stage is he tries to get everybody involved. Like oh, yeah. he'll he'll hire one person for one thing and then somebody else for another thing, and he tries to build his team and gives everybody some work. So shout out to Kev. Oh on stage. man, that man, that actually, you know what, man. That's also one of my favorite ones. I can't. I now I got now I got to put him right next to Mike Kells because you're right. You're right, Tish. I mean, he really Kev on stage. This this is this is gonna make Kev cringe because he hates this type of talk when when people start praising him. But yeah. man, Kev on stage really does. Man, he he's actually there was a year there was a time where you know uh, uh, when when all Def was down. You know what I mean? And you know work was work was slim. Uh, Kev was still on tour, man, and and I was designing and I was printing because I also screen print as well. And I was printing his merch. I was designing his merch. My man got me through my rent, damn near all year. You know, that's that's yeah. and that and that's something that I really I wanted to make sure I had to acknowledge, man. That's that, that, that that's, that's 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 real. That's real shit, man. What, what Kev what Kev on stage did and what he still does for his homies. Yeah, he does. Uh, yeah, he's 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 a real one, man. He's real. Gives everybody some work. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to people yep. on stage, man. Uh, like you said, this gonna make him cringe and shit, yep. but you know, yep. <laughs> humanitarian to the brothers, man. Yes, sir. You yes, know, sir. Man. But yeah, I want to know. So, like for example, yeah, like back to like what we, we were saying, like just an insulting price outside of free. Yeah. Uh, that you've been giving. Like I said Tish, for example, Tish does branding packages and normally her packages start at anywhere between three thousand and up so oh. we're at 1500 right now because of the all right, 1500 I'll, just try, I'll try to get you paid more but fuck me <laughs> i know no, right I, here's the thing <laughs> i know the more i charge the less i hear that's that's what yeah. i have now now if there's yeah. a comma attached people usually let me do my job i don't have to hear shit. the right. moment you start going anything under a hundred dollars those people seem to have the most to say. They do. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So so and, and that's something and that's something to press on right right next. So just but just give me your price. So like say for a branded deal, what was the most insulting price you ever got? I think that the prices were insulting. It's when people try to tell you what you used to charge. That ain't got shit to do with what I'm right. telling you now. What was the, that's true, right? What was the number though? The number was they asked me to update. Um, they asked me to update a one sheet, and I, they were like, "Oh." And I think for the one sheet, they might have paid one twenty five for it. And what do you normally charge? What right now? Um, sure. For a one sheet, like I my my bill is twenty dollars an hour. Anything under than that, I did you a solid. Yeah. So yeah, for that, and then they were like, uh, 
I'm just asking you to update. I was like, I don't give a fuck what you're asking me to do. And I'll say that to somebody like, did you, do you need help or not? Like, what do you want yeah. to do? <laughs> yeah. I'm not the sales, I, like I'm, I used to be a salesperson when I first got in this business, but I don't, I'm not a salesperson, honey. I'm, I'm not trying to get your business. If we don't work together, I'm, my rent will still get paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trevor, what about I, I, you? Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Trevor. Um, like I said, doing the club joints, man, they tried to pay you in drinks and shit or like access or like, nah, bro, I need cash, dog. I got rent to pay. Like, this is what I do. And, you know, like, so the way it works, you know, we're, we're talking to other people that might be listening that don't understand it. Clubs do flyers every night or every week or right. so I'm doing a package of flyers, updating things. They're calling me three, four, you know, in the morning sometimes because they just now shutting down. Like, oh, yeah, we got Nelly booked for this day. I need a flyer. I'm like, look, as long as I get my bread, you're going to have to order. And like, right. oh, yeah, we got you. You know, so this can jump around, too, to waiting to get paid. You know, yeah. this when I, I started. You, you got to pay me up front. Exactly. Hey, and but that's a was, learned lesson when you yep. first get started. Yep. You know, I'm waiting in the club till four in the morning to get, you know, $50 or something like that. Yeah, I'm like, never again. <laughs> I need half up top, either half or all of it up top. Half or all. It all depends on what I'm doing. If, yeah. if anything over a comma, you gonna have to pay me half. If it's under a comma, sorry, Charlie, you gotta pay. I need me. the whole thing. I need uh, the whole uh, thing. For yeah, it. yeah. Uh, Chris, what about you? Uh, <clears throat> man, the flyers, man. One, one. I despise flyers. I do not <laughs> like designing flyers. So and it's not. Even, Man, it, it's not. It, it, it's definitely going to get you work, and I understand it's going to bring in money. It's, it's cool, but the thing that why, what I hate about designing flyers when my price, uh, somebody disrespect me was like, uh, I'll do a do a do a flyer for ten bucks, right? Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, let me call because they're thinking, thinking, yeah, they're thinking that this is we're just doing this off a of word. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're just using Microsoft Word. Nah, fam. And they, or 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 when they be like, when they be like, fam, it's just a font. I could type it. You can type. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. When when they be like, man, it's just something simple, man. They, that's all that they. You know, you're gonna get a cheap price when they're like, man, bro. I just need to do something simple, bro. It's gonna take you. It's gonna take you less than an hour. You know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> you ain't gotta know. Let me tell you, so this is for all the designers. They don't have to know how long it takes you to design something. If it, if if it does take me thirty minutes to design something, or or and, it, and it's flying, like I'm and I'm killing it. Yeah, ten, nothing. Because sometimes we have templates and we have you know things that we can just you know boom already pop into some that we made a while back. Whatever whatever the case is, they don't have you don't got to tell them. Oh yeah, you just, yeah, it's gonna take me twenty minutes. I'm not gonna, because then they're gonna be like, oh, since it was that quick, why would I pay you this? And it was this. right. It's because I'm I that good. Get the next day, just on GP. You say what? I said, I'd be giving people back they shit next day just on GP. I don't give a fuck if it took me five minutes. You not yeah. get to Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you're not gonna. That, that I, I've messed up on doing that before. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to impress them. I'm trying to be cool about it. Like, they, they send me a picture. I'm like, boom, there it is. And they're like, they, they, they keep that in mind. They're like, oh, I got another five minute job for you. You know? Oh, yeah, like, yeah. No, no, that's uh -huh. it. And they, yeah, I, I've been a victim of that. Where they be like, well, yo, man, my last project, you did it in like two or three days. I'm like, yeah, but I was broke. When you Man, <laughs> this is this is what I hate about doing uh, uh, flyers. I, and I'm I'm gonna let I'm <laughs> I just want I have to get this off my chest. The flyers, man. People they they never give you all the information that oh that you go on the flyer. Can you add they, this person? Can, can you, add you add this person? <laughs> can you add this sponsor? I got a logo, or they'd be like they'd be like uh uh here go here's the here's the logo, and they give you a, a pixelated logo that's this that and they want you. <laughs> And they want you to make that the background. Yo, yo, one more, a, one more, one more thing, picture. bro. One more thing, bro. Can you just take the for free sign and then just move it up in the corner? My uh, wife will see how that look up there. Uh, can you make this person bigger than this person, or can you put me in front? There, why is this person? Uh, it, bro. it is. Flyers like, are a headache. Flyers are the devil. Yes, man. I yes, think the man. biggest thing I've ever That's had the ever most had. consistent business you'll ever get, though. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Kind of, I don't know who's out here listening, but if you buy your design business and you buy <laughs> and you buy into a template service, 
if you can figure out how to freak those templates and make them your own, you can get paid. That's all you got to do. When I found out about them flyer templates, well, not even finding out. It was just one of those like, all right, I really don't give a damn. I'm going to just I'm going to just take this flyer template. And then, like you said, put my own little spice on it. I was like, oh. Oh, that, that took a lot of stress off my off my shoulders. You know what I'm saying? Oh, any, okay. Any, yeah, anybody in opposition now, you you let the little homie do stuff like that. Be like, oh no, I'll do your flyer. I'm not gonna oh. do it. But he, the little homie, gonna do it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. And they gonna God. use this template. Wait, have you got this one before? Well, I just need an album cover, so it's just like a flyer. So why are you charging me more for an album cover? Uh, than oh no, no, no. So this this was <laughs> yeah. this the trick every person tried to get with me. So y'all know I do illustrations. That's hilarious. I do illustrations, and yeah. so instead of I charge way more for illustrations than I do for anything else, and so they'll be like, "Yo, I want to get a CD cover, but uh." It, it's simple. I want my uh, uh is this is the album, the name of the album. I just want this, but I. I want my face on it, but I want it like drawn. I'm like, oh, so you want an illustration? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah but but I want to, but it's a, it's for a CD cup. Yeah, yeah. That's but a, you it, want an illustration? Oh, yeah. $400. Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I think and I think that the hardest thing I've been hit with was clout. Yes. I'll pay you in clout. Like, yo, I uh, put you on my page, man. Oh, like, exposure. You get exposure. Paid exposure. Exposure. Nigga, I got Tiffany Haddish on speed dial. What, oh, else, yo. what else can you do for me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I get you some drinks. <laughs> yeah, come oh, on, man. Exposure, I can get Facebook on the phone. What the else only one, do? the only one I'm down with, or or I have been down with, is they exchanged it for stage time, and I'm like, I've hey, that's, 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 that's your generation. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, your, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, I'll take it. But but even then, you still gonna get. I gotta get something. I'm gonna give you a, a cool discount. But I got. It's just something to get. Like I gotta get paid for my service. You know what I mean? That's that. That's just. It's gotta. It's, I'm I'm doing you a service. You know. What you say, Jess? I said absolutely. People be trying to pay me an exposure. And they're like, yeah, I'll put you on blah blah blah. And I was like, nigga, I can get baby. I can get Facebook, ABC, YouTube, and Snapchat on the phone. What else can you do for me? You can't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exposure is not that no more. She name dropping companies now. You see, she name dropping. Oh, it's real though. Like it's I literally, right. I can get those people on the phone. So it's like, and that's because right. of Tiffany. Well, yeah. get them on the phone and tell them to stop shadow banning my account, man. I got <laughs> shit I want to stay through. You know what's right. hella funny is I was talking to Ryan Davis maybe last week, and he was like, I, when he realized his life was, his Facebook had got shut down, so he pulled up to the headquarters, and somebody was like. Hey, how'd you get your Facebook page back? And he was like, oh, I went to I went up to Facebook. And he was like, No, like, what'd you do? And he, he was like, I went to the headquarters and took a meeting and they fixed my stuff. And he was like, like, Facebook, Facebook? And I was like, Yeah, niggas' lives is different. Wow. <laughs> that's hard. <laughs> but, you, but you think about it though, like, I think that's what's be, what uh the, the dope thing about being a graphic designer uh, is about is that the access that it gives you. Mm. Because of what you do, and trust me, we're gonna get back to some of this negative shit too. Because I still got some shit to get off my chest. But, oh yeah, but it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, it's your turn, bro. We can keep uh, going. But I took, but I took it because uh, I know uh, y'all had brought it up a little bit earlier. Was uh, and I wanted to, uh, you know, just kind of talk about that a little bit. Is how much access you can get, and how being in a gra uh, as a graphic designer, it changes your mentality on how things are seen. And I think one thing I can really speak on is how uh, Trevor used to really show me stuff was what he'd always call us the finagle. And um, <laughs> the finagle game is strong. Now the finagle game, in case y'all don't know, is to be able to get into these places and like really showing that like, yo, I belong here. Yeah. And I'm gonna give you a prime example of just how much of we was really fucking feeling ourselves. And like, yo, this, the faith, we believe in this shit. We this made it. The we faith is real. Huh? Yeah. Talking about we made it. Yeah. yeah, made it. yeah. So yeah. So we decided that um there was this festival called Hangout Fest. <laughs> hey, Hangout bro. Fest. <laughs> Hangout Fest is in Alabama. We're in Texas. And so one, we have no way of really getting out there. And no so, details, no details, <laughs> no names. Uh, I ain't gonna say no names. No names are gonna be bitches. <laughs> so, but somehow. Trevor and another friend of ours manages not only to get 
the two of them tickets, but also to get GMC to sponsor them a Tahoe, no Chevy, a, a brand new Tahoe to yeah, drive to Alabama. They was like, hey, one just take pictures of it and stuff like that. And they was like, just use this hashtag for us. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> Y'all know how they got it. Somehow yeah. they got it. And they was like, yo, do you want to come uh, with us? And I was like, man, I'm not, I don't want to go no hang. I don't know the fuck this is. At. Who the hell yeah. is there? And he was like, Outcast is before. I was like, why did you fuck Into. with that? Into. I was like, leave uh, with that, man. With the- <laughs> I, that I was, was like, one of they, oh, that man. was the last tour they had too. That was the last tour they had. This was right after they did the Governor's Ball performance, and it was like they only had like a few more performances they were gonna do. Man, was like, did y'all go? I, they went. Oh, it was lit. Yeah, yeah, they went, <laughs> and I was like, again, I didn't have a ticket, but okay. you know, I was like, so I'm gonna still go, and in the faith of the finagle, two things will probably happen. Either one, I'm gonna walk my ass in this bitch, and ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing. Or yeah. I'm not going to get in and I'm going to go back to the hotel room and smoke some weed and probably fuck the house. Nigga, you could have <laughs> got a press pass. They got like... Hold, <laughs> on, we, hold on, we get there. You so we drive. We, <laughs> we drive all the way to Alabama. We get there. We get up to the, we get up to the press press booth. They're getting their passes. And, it's, and it's, what's so funny was, it's always cool when you got a, a connection with folks that understand things and they know how to move in certain settings, like, especially in like, like big events like that. Mm-hmm. You can't move right, or you're like an embarrassment. I cannot be there. Oh you. yeah, no, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. you gotta learn how to move like I move. Like I'll yeah, go move. anywhere with I'm a purpose. Sure I'm you gotta move with a purpose. Yeah. You gotta move like you're supposed to be there, or you've already you've been there. Right. So we yeah, get that like to the own press the spot. Box. Yeah, yeah. We get that to the press box. They get theirs, and, and, and uh, both of them are like, "Well, no, it's supposed to be three of them." And they're just like, well, straight I'm face. Supposed to be, it's supposed to be three press releases. They were like, uh, well, uh, well, three press who, passes. Let's who go. Are you under? They were like, well, we're under, uh, you know, such and such. We're not gonna say anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. But there's supposed to be three of them. Like here, here's the email. Kind of just, you know, like hit the flash a little bit. Like a little, quick, I, little. I, I, I can call them, but I'm like, it's supposed to be three of them. Oh uh, yeah, this one, this one is for our photography. Like we, we there you we, go. We be in. And they were just like, oh man, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Well, well here you go. Here's your pass. Man. All fucking access pass. Sitting like this. You made yourself an email. Hey. Oh, man. That too. We didn't, even, we didn't even think of that. I was like, yo, like yeah. that's how much of the finagle game we believed in ourselves that we didn't even go that far. We just like, yo, flash this and we good. But like, yo, you didn't talk to Leslie? Like, Leslie was the one that said we were straight. Oh man, it's some things. <laughs> it's some things that I've designed, boy. That's gotten me to into places. Gotten me, man. Okay, it, 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 it's 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 the the finagle game is for real. It's for yeah, real, man. Yeah. It's for real. Chris, I've gotten out of court tickets and all kind of stuff. Like all they need is proof. I was say, I was. <laughs> all they need is proof. If you That's ask it. me for something, it's like, yo, if I need this taken out of my credit, what do you need from me? I'm oh, sorry, you, what? Need you need what? Huh? Proof that you paid it. Say that. Oh. All right, we'll do that. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. I will be back. <laughs> those are just some, like those. Those are some. I ain't gonna lie. Those are some of the funnest times. Man, more it sad. really makes you feel like you know, uh, uh, uh Frank Abner from from uh, Catch Me If You Can. Yeah, it makes you feel like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> With Leonardo DiCaprio, you, you feel like yep. you really like finessing the whole system, the whole he world. Was, he was and King Finagle for real. <laughs> and especially when you're in these spots, like you just like yo, be. It's not even the regular stuff. Like you in these press boxes, you in these press huts where you are like super close to seeing these talents and these performers yeah. like that. It's just it's yeah, just being in VIP as the graphic designer. Man. <laughs> Talking to oh. other people. I'll never forget I was in Long Beach just uh I wasn't even doing shit. I just filled out the press passes and stuff like that. And they gave them to me. And I went to go watch Wu Tang, G Unit Reunite, um, who else? YG and then met that YG's was, mom. That, was that Rock the Bells or something? Jeez. No, this was uh, uh, Summertime in LBC. It was next to oh, the, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Snoop's joint. Yeah. Man. yeah. But it was, just, it was just so amazing to know, like, yo, I'm here as a designer and I'm talking to YG's mom, helping her with plates and just you know, over plates. I didn't uh-huh. know that was YG's mom until he walked up and I was like, 
damn, that nigga look familiar. And then I seen him look like the red bandana right here. I was like, oh, that's YG, because no one else is brave enough to do that. <laughs> 